strong still. Yesterday we had the wind advisory. Don't have one today, but we still have wind sustained between 20 and 25 miles an hour. And we have a little bit of sun poking through right now in Kenosha. You can see a little bit of sun basking in the buildings there, even on Lake Michigan. Some spots where the sun is making the water look almost tropical. Really not too bad. 41 degrees right now in Kenosha, though, does not feel tropical. West northwesterly winds around 23 miles an hour. So when you factor those in, we're talking wind chills right now in the 30s. Feels like 32 right now in Milwaukee. Feels like 29 degrees in Waukesha up through Pewaukee. 28 in Heartland down to the south. 30 in Union Grove as well as in Salem feels like 29 in Elkhorn feels like 30 in Jefferson 28 in Horicon as well as in Beaver Dam feels like 29 Cedar Grove as well as in Port Washington. So yes, we're talking wind chills in the middle of November, but we will be talking 60s by the time we get to your Sunday. Just a little bit of drizzle and yes, we did even have some light flurries earlier this morning, but still a little drops hanging out in Sheboygan County heading towards the Plur uh, Plymouth area and Random Lake. Still a part of that big storm system that continues to slowly drift off to the east. High pressure. This is going to come into our forecast as we get into your Sunday or Saturday and Sunday. So we're both looking at both days being sunny with a little bit of a breeze, but mild air is going to start to push on in and a nice southwesterly wind that's going to help bump us up into the 50s for your Saturday. And again, a little bit of a breeze from the southwest, but it's going to be a warming wind that is going to boost our highs on Sunday up to 60 degrees. So for today, yes, kind of the worst out of the next several 43 degrees, slowly decreasing clouds, but still very windy. Northwesterly winds about 20 to 25 miles an hour. Overnight will be chilly. The winds start to calm down though. 31 degrees your overnight low in Milwaukee, 26 inland. So it will be a frosty start to your Saturday. So keep that in mind if you're going to be playing some golf this weekend, because with these temps really not going to be too bad for the golf game, especially Sunday. I think that's going to be your pick day out of the weekend with sunshine and 60 degrees for a high, even upper 50s all the way up in the Northwoods. So if you're traveling there, really shouldn't be that bad. The rest of your seven day forecast shows that yeah, after that we are going to stay actually incredibly mild 53 on Monday, even up to 60 by the time we get to your Wednesday. However, rain showers are going to be moving in Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. A big storm system will finally bring the end to the rain on Thursday. But again, this is not going to be a cold system. It's going to be warm with some of those rain showers. We'll talk more about the uh, weekend forecast, including your Packers forecast after this.